What is up lads, I'm Tom LFC Heaven, back in the house with a brand new 115th career mode episode and the Tom LFC army showed what a great subscribers you are, we smashed 100 likes on the previous episode so please let's do this, this again guys, I know we can do it, let's smash 100 likes again for this episode and the comment of the day goes to Laura Godfrey 66 he says he has been, or she, I'm not sure, she has been a sub since day one and she says he, I deserve a lot more subscribers than I have at the moment. Thanks a lot for that, I truly appreciate your comment and I'm so happy that you guys think that this is the best career mode on YouTube. Tom LFC Army going strong indeed and also massive shout out to my good friend Ryan Brown who is an Everton fan but he watches my videos since the beginning and uh, he says I need more recognition because I offer such great content and uh, you, I should be seen by millions. Thanks a lot Ryan, you have been a great friend. We have been talking on Skype for more than two years now. And also shout out to Taylor Nelson, he's a regular commenter on my videos as well. Um, and also shout out to iSopra HD. He says best career mode on YouTube. Tom LFC Army going song. And I absolutely love this comment. Shout out to What's for Dinner. What a username, by the way. He says that my YouTube channel is like Akin Femva. Absolute tank. What a comment, man. And uh, last but not least, massive shout out and massive thank you to Joshua D14 GM GDM who says he got 52 people in his school to subscribe and he loves my vids. I will surely keep it up. Th thanks and please guys, tell your friends, tell your schoolmates, tell everybody about my channel. Let's get big together. And now let's get on with the episode. What is up lads? It's Tom LFC Heaven back in the house with a brand new Liverpool career mode episode. And we have two huge games in this episode, Arsenal and Paris Saint-Germain. Let's do this! I'm Tom LFC Heaven and welcome to the Emirates Stadium. And this is a huge, huge league game between two giants of English football. Let's look at the league table now, guys. As you can see, we are sitting proudly in first place and Arsenal are in sixth place. Ten points are between us. So if we can win uh, here, then we can put a real, real distance between ourselves and Arsenal. And sorry, there are no face cam in this episode. I have a lot of different projects uh, going on and a lot of work. So um, I'm, kind, I'm very busy, but hopefully from the next episode, face cam will return. Because the editing with face cam lasts more than one and a half hours more than editing without the face cam. So sorry about that guys. But anyway, let's get on with the episode. Let's try and beat Arsenal at their home. Come on! Score! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! What the hell? How did he miss an open goal? Who was that? Biabiani or... Oh my days, or Coutinho, yes I think it was Coutinho. Damn! Come on Coutinho! Oh no! Oh my days! Coutinho is the post again! How on earth? Oh my days. Damn, what a first half. We had so many chances. Coutinho hit the post twice. How is this nil nil still? Oh my days. What is wrong with this game? Wow. That was a goal and the ref gave a free kick. And then Reina with a brilliant save. And oh my days, Juru misses. Oh, what a miss. Oh, my days. Storage! Yes! Cut in! Cut in there! 
One, two, three, Daniel Sturridge. One nil to Liverpool. What a vital goal that could be. Arsenal already scored a goal, but the ref didn't give it. And Daniel Sturridge pops up with a vital goal. Let's make three substitutions. Connolly, Suso and Terry Berry, the youth academy player. Come on. Yes! Yes! Aubameyang! Aubameyang makes it too! What a run by Luis Suarez! That was absolutely magnificent! Look at that! Absolutely brilliant! He should have scored this, but Aubameyang makes it too near. And that's very, very harsh on Arsenal because they dominated the second half. But it's too near Liverpool. Clinical finishing. What a goal! Yes! Got in there guys, we have won it! What a game this was! Arsenal dominated the second half after Liverpool dominated the first and Arsenal scored a legit goal but the referee didn't give it, gave a free kick to Arsenal and Reina made a vital save and we two scored two late goals here to win a 2 nil. This could mean a lot in terms of the title race this season. Let's look at the Barclays Premier League results and as you can see Chelsea beat Bolton 5-0 and Manchester City beat Wolves 2-1 but Tottenham lost to Stoke City 2-0 so they will be Tottenham and Arsenal and Everton uh, are way 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 behind now from the league readers so it looks like Manchester City and Liverpool are uh, setting the pace in the Premier League but Chelsea and Man United are also up there but they have too many draws and let's look at the relegation zone. Southampton, Fulham and Blackpool are in big big trouble. And let's look at the top scorers. The Sturridge has been absolutely amazing. He has 8 goals and Suarez has 8 goals as well. But Aubameyang with 5 goals is not far behind. And now let's go into our Champions League game against Paris Saint-Germain in the group stage. Uh, we are top and Paris Saint-Germain is second but if we can win this game then we will finish first in the group I think so this is a vital game and I made some slight changes to the team to freshen up the players I'm Dom LFC Heaven and welcome to the Parc de Prince Stadium home of Paris Saint-Germain the giants of French football they have the oil money so they have an amazing team and this is how the group stage standings are as you can see we are already through to the next round because Ajax can't catch up on us and if we win this game or get a draw then that means that we will finish top of the group and that's what we want. We want to avoid the big teams in the next round in the last 16 and as you can see Paris Saint-Germain have an amazing team and they have a former Liverpool player Mohamed Sissoko in their team and uh, in comes Xavi, Biabiani and Sterling uh, to freshen up the team and also Aguirre in, in place of Mbaye. This is one of the strongest teams that, that I can feel. Let's do this, guys! Oh, no! Biabiani, brilliant clearance! Aubameyang! No! Oh my god, Sirigu! Come on, Biabiani! Yes! Get in there, Biabiani! Absolutely brilliant goal! That is his first goal! He missed so many chances this season, but finally, Biabiani makes it 1 0. First goal of the season for him. 1 0. Oh, Bia Bihani almost makes it to... Wow! Erika! Oh, damn! Good shot! Magnificent first half so far! We are keeping Paris Saint-Germain at bay and Bia Bihani with a brilliant goal, 1-0 at half time. Oh, what a fight. 
Suarez? Yes! Oh, Suarez! What a lucky goal! Oh my goodness, what a huge, huge deflection. You don't see this often on FIFA 13. The goalkeeper went the wrong way. And it was a massive deflection. Uh, the defender's leg. Yeah, that was it. Let's make some substitutions now. So here are the new players. Ince, Pacheco and Christian Nemeth. Nemeth, the Hungarian player coming on. Uh, yes! Oh, <laughs> oh my days! Thomas Enns! What is going on here? Wow! What is going on? The goalkeeper! What is going What happened? How did that go in? The goal What is the goalkeeper doing? Look, watch guys! Near post! So OP in this game! Oh, what a block! Brought a block by Ogge. Come on, Ince! Oh! <laughs> wow! Thomas Ince scores two goals in the last four minutes! This is absolutely incredible. Paris Saint-Germain was carved open and what a finish by Inns. 4 nil. This is amazing. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, Klein, what have you done? Almost an epic, epic own goal. Oh my days. Yes! We have won the Champions League group, but this game has been absolutely astonishing. For most of the game, Paris Saint-Germain were very, very good, but in the last 15 minutes, they just collapsed completely. I don't know what happened to them, especially is the Ince goals were amazing. He came on as a substitute for the last 10 minutes and he scored two goals. Brilliant! So guys, after our successful campaign with Ireland, they offered me a new, new contract, but I stalled on it. They offered me on September the 30th, but I stalled on it to see uh, which other countries offered me, offer me a contract. And it was Netherlands, uh, the Belgium FA and the, the Chile, Chile job. So these are the four offers that I have. And to be honest, I was maybe waiting for a, an England offer or a Spain offer or maybe my home country. Hungary would offer me a job, but they didn't, so let's stick with Ireland and let's continue our project developing Irish players in Liverpool and uh, hoping that they can they can uh, become world-class players and maybe we can go far with Ireland in the next World Cup. No, the, the, the next European Championships. Hope, oh, sorry. So here are all the Champions League results and as you can see we won against Paris Saint-Germain Saint -Germain. 4-0 and the surprise of the round, FC Porto beat Manchester United 2-0. So let's look at the group stage standings now. And as you can see, we won the group already. Paris Saint-Germain are in second, but they can finish third if they lose to Ajax in the last game. We will have Molde FK at Anfield, so that should be an easy three points, hopefully. And let's look at the other groups napoli surprisingly are only in third place and they can't qualify so uh, this is a good group saint etienne or atletico madrid and fc basel surprisingly reading uh, group c and real madrid of course won their group no surprise there but we avoided them by finishing first and here surprisingly manchester city are only in second place but uh and they they will finish second valencia will finish third and here man united